Tara's track isn't too difficult, but it's still rated a black diamond. There are a couple of te- very technical sections, but nothing out of the ordinary compared to the rest of Mercadopolis. It gets very steep towards the bottom of the track, but that's where it has some very big trees across the track. Now before continuing, I'd like to remind you to smash that subscribe button as it does support a lot to the growth of the channel and the amazing man making community. Now let's get into shredding. More of a steep downhill track, so it's going to be interesting. It's not as bad as other fellow blacks around here. Oh, it's puppy that one. So those jumps are a bit cheeky, but they're a bit. Ah. They're a bit flat, they're a bit kicky, but they're alright. Now we're getting into the seats. I mean, you could probably jump that one, but maybe not the size. You might carry a bit too much speed into that burn. Alright, now we're going to slow down for the technical stuff. Over uh, that, another piece of the other side, but either one. That's a bit more of a drop. Can get a bit crazy, but it'll be alright. Bit overgrown, but nothing too bad. Sorry if it's a bit chunky and sort of the camera shakes around a bit. Haven't got a stabilizer yet. So what the old case is off. <laughs> but, oh, now I could, I could end up doing that one, but that setup jump is a bit, a bit weird. Most of the jumps are a bit weird. They're all right. Okay. These ones are a bit crooked. But oh, might have cut that one slightly, but it's right. Yeah, but those are all drops, so just be careful going down those. And here we're at a fire road. Track continues, comes down there, and continues down into this section here. And the section here isn't too long, so it's not like a And you know, it might be. But it's still nice and there's a nice flow to it. I've got some big news for the channel in case you missed the last two videos. I am now an ambassador for a writing company called Catfolk & Co. It's a bit of a mouthful, but a bit of a tongue twister, but it works and quite well. It's a, it's a clothing and apparel company. You've got lots of Vike accessories. If you want to use, if you want, if you want to check out the company, there's a link in the description and up top in the cards. If, when you're checking out, you can use the discount code to get 30% off your order. That's right, the whole 30% off using the code ADAMLIPSCOM30 and you can get 30% off your order. Any order, any item you can get, you can get 30% off. Now make sure you check out the link in the description for Cap, Vow and Co. Now let's get back into riding. You know, a bit crazy. Let's have a look at it. And now we've got to the other stuff here. Now, just down there, got some more trees. So, past that is sort of the end of what you got here. And then you'll eventually get down to the road there, and the track continues down there. I'll add in another section of the video just to sort of follow it up so you can understand where everything is. So, end the video off here, and we'll make sure to watch the end of the video just so you can get the full track overview as it sort of it does continue down here it's more it's more just the stuff that we just rode sort of the same as that and then it continues that sort of this steep sort of terrain down to the very bottom now it will sort of become 
clear it eventually. I'll probably come out here and clear it once I get the time to. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'd like to remind you to commit to everything, write everything and shred everything. Now make sure you stay to the end of the video. Bye. Track does come out through here. So comes down either and through there. Or I think out through there. Can't remember. And that's where the first meant to come out. And then and of course there's also a final little section too. So I keep going down here. Quite nice and fun, quite nice and fast. There is, a, there is a jump here, which you could do. Which you could have, definitely have the speed to go. To go over. Can't carry your speed down through there quite nicely. And then take off this gap here. Now I'll call it a double, it's not actually a gap per se. There's a gap in between, but you could also roll it over the side here. I mean, I don't, I just like to show you. And then try, keep saying nothing here. There's a bit of a pedally part up here, but not too long. As you may have noticed, I've got my trek back. So we're riding that trick again because that video is going to the polygon. And then here, and come on, you take. You could go up there, but you look at that here. I want a low line. Oops. I'd normally take the low line to that corner. I can get a fair bit, fair bit arm pump from downhill, just like a thread bow. This isn't really a jump, you could actually jump this, but nice roll as well. Now along here, there is a gap, very big gap, but not just here just yet, a bit further down. Can get a bit chunky down that section there over the creek crossing, but it's not too bad. Now, I normally use one thing, two finger braking, sorry, have two fingers on leaves at all times. Not well, at all times, but just fine. Whenever I feel like it, whenever I feel like it's braking. Now, two fingers is okay to brake, but one, but one finger is normally recommended because you get more grip on the bars and going down to the chattery stuff like this now it may not look too chattery but it is quite a fair few um, ruts and not down here so it can get quite annoying there's another pedally bit just here but again it's not too long I like short prolonged, uh, not short prolonged, prolonged you know, long, but I like short punchy climbs rather than long prolonged ones because then that way you don't 
lose your energy for too long. Now it's just down here, which you can either do a gap or a roll. Ah, bother. So this is more of a side track just up here to avoid the gap, just ahead. I'll show you on the way down the other side. Down here. And here we have the gap. Now it's a bit a bit wonky. I would have personally moved the landing over slightly to the to the left or right, whichever way you look at it, and add a few more boards on this section here. Now having stood on this, definitely doesn't feel that solid. Not really solid at all. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be too bad if you just were doing like small bits of riding, but could get a bit worn over time. So the gap is, I am on there and you land down here. So I'm going to my down slope on the, on the on property to the actual landing itself. So you just keep going down here. This jump here is just more of like a jump, nothing too bad. Just get a turn my in there. cruise along here, not too bad. Now, just going to say, I've, I've now reached two meters the last few weeks, and it's just having some troubles with it. So I just feel the effects of height. Now, I'm riding a medium frame size bike, and I should be riding extra, extra large, but there's only a handful of manufacturers which actually manufacture extra, extra large. For example, I think only Trek and a variety of other ones do it. Trek is one of the other bigger ones. Trek is one of the bigger companies which manufacture extra, extra large. But most fan, most companies really only do extra large, which is probably one of the better frame sizes for me because the, lo the smaller the frame size, the easier the bike is to move around you, but the bigger the frame size, the more stable you would be going down to the bigger, looser stuff. And it's more stable down to the corners. Now down here is more of a bridge. Nice and mellow. Now, could be, you know, could be a bit of a problem if you're a bit too fast or a bit too wonky. Now, 